Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be hearing story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Story time with Mr. Lamada, where all your dreams come true. Oh, he brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, happy Tuesday to you. Yes, March 26 has arrived, and um, yeah, we've been talking so long about Wombat and the family tree, and it is finally here. Launch day is here. A big congratulations to my good friend here, Marietta Apollonia. Appreciate you, and so glad that you're here with us today on Storytime. Of course, to read with us and in being conversation so we can catch up everything Marietta today. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. And to everybody that's joining in, thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time, whether you're here live with us or indeed joining us later on for the recordings. Thank you for being here. Drop us a message. Let us know you are here so we can say hi to you as well. Thank you so much for being here with us today on Storytime. Wombat and the family tree is here today on Storytime. And Marietta bringing us her second book here to Storytime. And of course, in Initially, we did have Jack the Library Cat. And if you've not seen that one, well, ask for it at your local library. Ask for it where you get books. Thank you so much for joining us here on Storytime. Out here in Oakland, it has been a little bit cold, actually. Cold by, by Oakland standards, I must say. <laughs> Especially since I have somebody from, from Massachusetts with me today. So cold by Oakland standards. And um, so if you're going out, please be sure to just grab that sweater, grab that extra layer. Uh, better to have that extra layer and maybe take it off later if it gets warmer than needing it and not having it. Thank you so much for being here with us today on Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Excited to be here today reading a wonderful story and, of course, having great company here on Storytime. Thank you so much for joining us here today and absolutely love it that you are here with us. Thank you indeed for joining in. And without much ado, we're going to bring on Marietta. And, of course, we'll be checking the messages as well so we can say hi to you and check in with everybody else that is joining joining in story time. Happy Tuesday to you. If you need to grab that hot chocolate, that nice drink, whatever else that will make this story time even better, this is the time. Go, go, go. When we come back from this short break, we'll have our guest for today, Marietta Apollonia, joining us here on story time. Go, go, go. And we'll see you after this short break. <laughs> Hola. My name is Shamile Sayed Mendez, and I am the author of Where Are You From?, Foodia, and many other books for young readers. You're watching Storytime with Mr. Limara. Welcome back indeed. And if you have not checked out Furia or Where Are You From? Please do so from your local library. Fantastic books, amazing books. And talking of fantastic books, fantastic people, please join me in welcoming to Storytime, Marietta Apollonia, author, illustrator. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. <laughs> What's been happening? What's been happening since Jack the Library Cat? Oh, you know, just working on some books. <laughs> <laughs> Riding horses. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out oh. with Henry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Henry! And every time I see him, I feel like he's growing every single minute. Yeah, he's getting yeah. A good, he's sprouting. How much has it influenced your writing? Um, huge. Yeah. Huge. Because when he was born, um, I always had like I always had some picture books 
usually in the studio. Yeah. Uh, but when he was born, it was like a wave of picture books came yeah. into the house and still yeah. do. So that I think <clears throat> I had time at that point to really start working yeah. uh, as I could, as he like, you know, sneak some stuff in 30 minute nap, you know, get something done. But, um, and then uh, he always gets to hear my manuscripts. He gives me his opinions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm usually I usually say, Henry, do you want to hear what my new uh, idea for a story? Yeah. And if he says it's good, <laughs> then I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. The first line of uh, of editing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. Thank you. And um, yeah, Henry. Oh, it's it's crazy to think that we've been going story time for four years, and so just mm -hmm. thinking how much has grown in that time too. And um, yeah. yeah, appreciate you guys. But um, I know you know like Wombat. Why Wombat? Just tell us a little bit more, and then we'll get into the reading. But why Wombat? Sure. Um, the idea for Wombat actually came from a workshop that I went to before I was agented before Jack came out, I went to this workshop um, <clears throat> that was put on by two very talented writer, uh, writer and writer illustrator, Anika Denise and Chris mm -hmm. Denise. And they had us do a exercise and you just wrote down a list of your favorite things. And my list had, it was like dragons and you know, little vintage ink bottles that you can sometimes pick up at antique shops had wombats and mostly wombats because they poop their poop is shaped like cubes if you guys didn't know <laughs> there's a lot of fun facts about wombats but yeah. i think the best one is that their poop is shaped like cubes and um vintage like black and white portraits i used to pick them up at antique stores yeah uh which turned into vintage portraits of wombats and actually, I found I found this while while I was off camera. I was rolling around the studio <laughs> in my chair. <laughs> I was like, I know I have. I went home that night and I did an illustration of a vintage portrait of a wombat. Yeah. And I found it while you were up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so from there, like, just I had that there was like the little spark of an idea. And I just I decided to include, you know, my love of art and my love of like family stories, learning about your family, learning about just where you come from and that kind of connection. Um, and then seeing Henry like trying all different like, things and figuring out which ones he likes and which ones, you know, he wasn't really into and sometimes being frustrated the first time you try something. Yeah. So that's kind of where it all came from, created this whole idea. Wow. No, that's fantastic. <laughs> and I'm glad that all these life experiences are coming together, you know, and wrapped in this beautiful story. Yeah. yeah. And how do you feel about, you know, launch day number two? You know, I got up a half hour ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm good. I feel good about it. <laughs> I slept in a little. Yeah. And um, I know there are some other events that have been lined up as well. What's happening? Uh, yeah, I have a, a, a in-person um, book launch and story time at my local indie bookshop, The Silver Unicorn, which is in mm -hmm. Acton, Massachusetts. That's this Saturday at 11 a.m. if anybody's local. Um, and then uh, I'll be at um, my local library in April. I'll be in Boston at a nonprofit bookshop in April. Yeah. And also, I can't remember if it's April or May, I'll be at another town's library. So a couple things. I'll be yeah. in the author series for Stoughton Public Schools in May. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some stuff lined up. No, cannot yeah. wait. Uh, please share that list with us, right? I and will. 
well, everybody that's joining in to um, please find fo follow Marietta, find Marietta at mariettaapollonia.com and get to see everything Marietta and all these events that we're talking about as well. And of course, too, if you're on Instagram and X, you can find Marietta at Ma Illustrates. And uh, similarly on Facebook, we can find her at Marietta Apollonia Art. So thank you so much for joining in this morning. We do have a wonderful story to read together. I cannot wait for that. Mm -hmm. But also, we have people joining us this morning. So let's we just quickly. Check and see who I is see my here. mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning. I think this is Chad. Actually, I think this is Chad's account. Hey, Chad. right? How are you doing, Chad, today out there in Nakitosh, Louisiana? It's from a very cloudy city. Oh my goodness! I hope those clouds go away soon. Thank you so much for joining us here, Auntie Pam, Auntie Anne. Thank you for joining us here on Storytime, Kathy. Good morning to you. How are you doing? And you say happy book birthday, Marietta. Um, uh, love it. Love it. Definitely joining in in that. And of course, to uh, Megan out there in um, Kentucky. Thank you for joining us. And of course, Ari and you say, yay, good morning, everyone. So good to get Marietta's new book. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. I am excited as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Pamela Courtney, Chad, Auntie Anne, Auntie Pam, and Granny is in the house too today. Chilly and wet Nakitosh, Louisiana today. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing your warmth and uh, yeah, joining us and celebrating Marietta's brand new book. Thank you for being here with us on Storytime. And Dolores, you saying, uh, hi, hi Marietta. So <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in here today. Yes, this is warm, but looks uh, elegant. I agree. That was a pretty elegant photo of warm, but thank you for joining us here today. And uh, Pamela Courtney, we're excited for our cute little warm, but yeah. Pamela Courtney, I'm sure you has been a part of this journey. Marietta, do you want to tell us a little bit more? Yeah, Pam Courtney and Kathy Halsey, they're part of my critique group, the Saucy Supremes, and they graciously let me into the group. <laughs> I think it was 2018, maybe. They had an opening. <laughs> I went right into that opening. Uh, and they decided to keep me. Um, and they, I was just starting out with writing for kids. Uh, and they, the entire group, Pam, Kathy, Janie, yeah. Melissa, Charlotte, Monique, they shared all of their knowledge um, and were just huge in helping me shape my writing. And they've seen Wombat from the very first idea through different versions into the yeah. book about me. Um, so they've been there every step of the way. Same yeah. thing with Jack. Yeah, oh, love it, and and I see too. We have Jem back today. Oh, Jem! Yes. I have to take another Marietta launch for Jem to come back. So, Marietta, you have to more books out on the regular. <laughs> Good, <I'm to> <laughs> Good to see you here, Jem. Thank you so much for joining us, and um, um, Nick as well. Thank you so much for joining in. Long time no see, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Live from the living room. Oh, so proud of you, Marietta. Love you. Thank you, Nick, for that message. I absolutely appreciate you guys. Oh, my goodness. And yes, lots of love for you, Marietta. And um, yeah, I, I, this, this is just, just makes me so happy and um, cannot wait to hear the story. For those of you who's, you know, the, the story will be brand new to you. Cannot wait for you to hear it. And we'll be right back after the story. Marietta, it's all yours from now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually going to hide myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wombat and the Family Tree. This, These are the front papers. And um, this, I think, was the most fun I had making a family tree for a wombat. <laughs> and so uh, almost everybody except for a uh, wombat and Papa and Mama and his dog, BR. And if anybody, any of the adults, maybe some kids know who Bob Ross is, that's why the dog is named BR. Um, all Everybody else has W names. And you notice Wombat's 
tree that he's made here has not only family members, but other people that are important to him that he considers family. And that's, uh, he has a friend named Wendy. He has a friend named Worthington up there, his neighbor, Mr. Wiles, a librarian, a teacher, um, family friend, all those awesome people in our lives that care for us and that we care about. So this was super fun to create. It's our title page for Wombat and the Family Tree. It's published by Tommy Nelson. They were fantastic to work with. Um, such a great team of people. And I'm not going to read this whole author's note. It's pretty long, but it does talk about like my family and my journey um, hearing stories about my family. But what I did want to read to you guys is just the opening. And it says, families come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes they're made of parents, siblings, and grandparents. Sometimes neighbors and friends form a family. Some people are biologically related to their family, and some people are not. A family includes anyone who is important in your life, who loves you, and who cares for you. And this book is dedicated to uh, my grandparents, Susie, Caesar, Giuseppe, and Carmela, and also to my dad, Remo, and my brother, Joe, um, and also for my husband, Nick, who is a big fan of something exploring. <laughs> A wisdom. Wisdom is a noun and it means a group of wombats in addition to other def definitions of wisdom. But so there's wombat headed home from school. Wombat arrived home with news from school. Nana, I have a family tree poster project. I wonder how big our tree will grow. Wombat branched out to wombats near and far, gathering stories, photos, and inspiration from the ever-growing wisdom of his family. And wombat's over here on the phone calling people, and they're saying, Great, great Aunt Willow loved to roller skate. Are you coming to the family reunion? Uncle Wyatt is an expert gardener. Is your family coming to the reunion? And I had a lot of fun creating these books over here on the left side of the page. Mail poured in with photos, some old, some new, some of wombats he would never meet, but they all had one thing in common, a special something of their very own. Wombat's family history had begun to take root. So Wombat got to work on his project. Guys, look at the box that Wombat's holding. This is another nod to Bob Ross, who is honestly my favorite painter. I used to recreate his paintings when I was a kid and watch his show. And the, it says, Pocket Squirrel Art Supply, Happy Trees. And on the right, Wombat is working on his project. Willa Ballet, Whitney Knitting, Wyatt Gardening, Wombat. He wondered what the something was that fit him best. With so many new somethings to try, Wombat was sure he would find the right one for him. But nothing seemed to fit. Poor Wombat, super frustrated, I think. What if I don't have a something? There's some little things in this illustration. If you take a close look or if you check the book out from your library, 
there's some nods to my first book, Jack the Library Cat. And there is a little poster on the wall with a cat. And it says H-R-A-C. And that stands for Henry Ramo Apollonio Conti, Aww. who is my son. <laughs> and down on the rug is a little book, and it says Jack and the Giant. And that is from Jack the Library Cat. Wombat's family wanted to help. What if you try music, Nana suggested. Hmm, let's try again, Wombat. What if you try carving, Mama suggested. Oh, let's try again, Wombat. That, that's a sad little whale carving, I think. <laughs> sad. How about baking, Papa suggested. Tastes good. Let's try again, Wombat. What if, Wombat? Mm, Wombat looks pretty sad going up those stairs. Wombat sunk into his chair. A pile of photos waited for their place. But then, oh no, no. Try again, Wombat. Woof. He began to nurture his family tree. It sprouted and grew, branches upon branches of familiar faces and the sunny smiles of the wisdom of Wombats who had come before. And at the family reunion, what a beaut, so proud, Wombat, incredible, our family, such talent and <laughs> artist. Wombat found his something. And this is Wombat's little sister trying a bunch of new things as well, and Wombat's cheering her on. That tutu looks familiar. And in the back, there is a blank family tree for people to fill in. And you can add family, friends, community members, whoever is important to you and who you consider family. And there's also a page that's called My Something Brainstorm. So the end papers and the back cover. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for that journey. And Henry, I hope that um Super Seal Man loved that one. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he did. Uh, we'll be right back after this very short break um for more story time. Thank you for joining us today and please stay tuned. We'll be back for more conversation with Marietta. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brianna Carzu, the author and illustrator of Lou, and you're watching Storytime with Mr. Lamada. Welcome back indeed. Yes, if you've not checked out Lou and Greenlight, please do check those out as well from uh, Brianna Carzu. Those are two great books. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but today we do have Marietta Apollonia here with us. Thank you for that beautiful book. And just thinking too, <laughs> You have some hidden gems in there, like you mentioned, you know, Henry's mm -hmm. name in there. And you did the same for Jack the Library Cat. Are there mm -hmm. any other little bits that we should be looking out for as we are reading Wombat and the Family? Um, good question. Well, now I don't remember. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely my love. I'm looking at the book right now. There's definitely my love of Bob Ross. Oh, and, let me, yeah. Um, I think my mom, my mom who's watching, <laughs> will remember and actually has some of the paintings hanging in her house. But she'll remember that I used to watch Bob Ross and then I would recreate the paintings. So that's like was huge in my life. Yeah. And I didn't point it out, but the paint colors 
are happy tree green, happy clouds blue, pocket squirrel red. We couldn't we couldn't make them exact because of um, you know laws. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Lawyers. <laughs> Uh, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and just, I think most of it is probably in Wombat's room. Um, there's a lot of things to check out in there. Lots of tiny stuff to look for. So, yeah, well, but I love putting little, a lot of it is for me, <laughs> right? Cause it just makes the book obviously I write the story, I do the illustrations, but it just feels more mine. Yeah. Sense, <laughs> by adding in things like Henry's initials and yeah. my previous book and right. my love of Bob Ross, but um, there's all sorts of other little things in his room that you can look at. And yeah. And <laughs> oh, I love that. No, I, I love it. I, and it's, and that's one of the things too, because as much as we can read books here and, but that it's so important to have you creators on so you can share some of those little, you know, bits that we may not know about. And it's just mm -hmm. it's extra special for us too. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know too that, you know, you've worked on this one and um, Jack the Library Cat. How have you grown in that time or what has been different between the two? Um, I changed my style. Well, my style changed a little bit only because the materials changed. So for Jack the Library Cat, I did everything in watercolor, um, a lot of things separate, and then brought them into Photoshop to put them together. Um, and just, I think traditional, looking at traditional watercolor, there's a huge difference, obviously, from a digital watercolor look. Um, but the change to digital watercolor, um, really kind of made things a little faster. If that makes sense. It's easier to make changes. It's easier to decide, oh, I'd rather, you know, this character be over here. Um, right. so that was actually huge in process wise, mm -hmm. getting things done. And, um, you know, it's always going to be very crisp and clear and, so that was that was one of the big things. Yeah, no, that change. I mean, and it's book two, and that change is coming. I'm curious of what other changes will be coming with the other, the other, the, you know, your later works as well. Um, still, I don't know that there's going to be much changes. I am primarily working in digital now. Um, I have a, an idea that I really haven't been able to to try yet, but I I do want to like, try and combine a little bit of traditional in there yeah. um, not as much as with jack but here and there maybe like patterns or textures that i can cut out and place into the image um, but i haven't really figured that one out yet so but yeah. still going to be digital i've just primarily been working that way now yeah no, I, I, lo I love, you know, like seeing the evolution of your process and um, just, yeah, watching all these books that will be coming out. I'm excited, really. Um, also, just, you know, like uh, one of the things, I mean, you got into interact with people, I'm sure, mm -hmm. after, you know, after Jack has come out and, well, Wombat is just coming out now. What are some of those things that have, you know, stuck with you that maybe people have said, people have shared? Um, about Jack the Library Cat. But while you're thinking about that, I'll just start with the comments that we have here today. <laughs> so <laughs> give you a bit of time. But we do have an appreciation coming in from Megan. And Ari, we appreciate you. And you're saying such a sweet book. I love how you open up um, the concept of family and lift up that we each have a something. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And just thinking about that one. And then Kathy um says what a beautiful book thank you Kathy, for joining us yeah. Jordan, in ohio yeah what a beautiful book couldn't agree more and um yeah i think nick says lots of some things and that's what something i want to come back to as well what is that something because when i read this manuscript too i started thinking of that like what is what is that something you know like because there's time mm -hmm. 
when you ask the question, but to actually have moments to think about it a little deeper. Mm -hmm. yeah, what is that something, right? Yeah, what is it? It's, yeah. you know, any of the things that you love to do. And it doesn't have to be just one, right? We yeah. try like so many things. Like what are the things you're interested in that you want to spend time, right. your free time or any time right. being able to work on? Those are yeah. your those are your some things. Yeah. And those are those some things even may start from one position and evolve and change. As mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because we're constantly evolving. Yeah. And Chad says, um, that was a great book to read. Oh, in thanks, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. Yeah. And we should bring back Jack the Library Cat soon, too. I think. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> So coming back to that question, what are some things that people have said uh, have stuck with you about Jack the Library Cat? Oh, what have you read? You know? I don't know. I read. <laughs> it's okay, we can always come back to that. No, well, I do know, like just because I did many <laughs> library visits last yeah. year. Um my whole summer was pretty much library visits, but yeah. uh kids just really loved that the book they yeah. loved jack how could you not love oh, you know an orange yeah. orange is yeah orangish yellow <laughs> cat with a blue nose that just loves story time right <laughs> loves to sneak into the library how could you not but oh. it's definitely a kid favorite his, the character yeah <laughs> love it, um, love it. And, and parents just you, you know, saying how sweet it was and yeah, no, I, I love it. I love it. No, thank you for sharing that. And yeah, you know, like, cause I think that's the one thing too, when I've read it to kids in different classrooms, that appreciation and kids just like, Oh, I want, I want a cat. I want a cat. I want a pet. Or, you know, like, and <laughs> sorry. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you, de I've definitely seen kids trying to draw more cats after, yeah. after we've read. So, yeah. yeah, and I think the connection of like um, practicing your reading with animals or stuffed animals and um, shelter animals and just, you know, that kindness and empathy towards um, animals that might need homes or. Yeah. And, and I'm not laughing at the fact that I know <laughs> need homes. Just to be clear, people, I'm laughing at Pamela Courtney's comments. <laughs> Pam's having a hard time with her emojis. <laughs> Okay, Pam. <laughs> Pam, and I must take this opportunity to <laughs> really, no, really, Pamela. I, you know, I appreciate Pam. Love you, as you know. And um, I know Pam sent me an email with um, some <laughs> names introducing me to folks, and we need to get everybody here on story time. So it's not because Pam has not sent me the email, and I've not, I've read it, and I'm excited to really like be reaching out to um different people that um pam has mentioned and so we can bring all those amazing stories here to story time mm -hmm. so please bear with me apologies for the delay in getting back to you <laughs> but it is coming but i'll be definitely be reaching out mm -hmm. um yeah <laughs> thanks and then pam. pam will be on story time one day oh yeah no, oh, I hope. yeah. oh yeah, yeah. No, she's got no, her no. picture book coming out <laughs> Cannot wait. So you mentioned, you know, Henry, Nick, and just seeing from who's here today with us too, that you do have a wonderful community, supportive community. Mm -hmm. Who makes up your family tree? Um, so I am a huge fan of, as I did in the book, I obviously wouldn't have done it if I didn't believe in it, but I, I am a huge fan of like people that you're not related to still being family. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, but I also come from a very large family of people I am related to. Mm -hmm. uh, so my, so it's, you know, my fam my immediate family, my parents, my brother, um, my aunts, uncles, lots of cousins, lots of second cousins. Um, I grew up where holidays were jam packed with people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I spent a fair amount of time with my second cousins, which I don't know that a lot of people do um but but we also had family friends who attended family gatherings and i think that's where it kind of started for me that you know there's people in our lives that you don't have to be related to that still feel like family 
Yeah. Um, so, so I have friends that, um, friends from high school, I have friends from college, um, who all feel like family to me, they would be in my tree. And, mm-hmm. um, I have friends, uh, two fantastic friends that, uh, I work with at the writing Academy and, you know, they're in my family tree and, um, obviously Nick and Henry are in my family tree. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> our dog, uh, never leave out your pets. Yeah. Too. So, yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, no. And I, I really appreciate that. And I think too, with Kathy on this one, Kathy, how's it? You're saying, uh, yeah. when you have a very small nuclear family, this idea of family means a lot, right? I mm-hmm. appreciate that. And one of the things too, and in my case being, an immigrant and being the only one in the family, you know, on this side, it really makes it hard. And this idea of having, you know, friends that are there for you, people that you, mm-hmm. you know, you come to rely on, and um, yeah, like extends that idea and really means a lot to me. So yeah, and I'm sure others who are in similar situations. So just yeah, just really thinking about that as you were you were talking. Appreciate that. Um, so the other thing too that I was um wanting to find out from you is um, you know, with warm bird and mm-hmm. as books are coming out you know it's um big events may be happening like this is women's history month so how mm-hmm. do all those things tie in and you know like how how do you feel your work fits into all these little bits or all these big things that that are around us you know important for either women's rights are important for our world I think each book that you create touches on like certain aspects of our world, but I look at it as more of like a general, my job as, or I feel like my job as the creator of picture books is to put books out into the world that kids um, enjoy one and send like, you know, sometimes the world feels very uh, difficult, right? And I feel like picture books should bring a little bit of joy into kids' lives. Yeah. And, um, you know, they they each touch on certain topics and certain uh, ideas, but um, I feel like my job is to put, put that kindness and that the artwork and the words out into the world for kids to see and um, give them that eight minutes, you know, it, 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 but reading a picture book, it's really, it's really like eight minutes, that eight yeah. minutes of getting lost in, in the illustrations and hearing mm-hmm. the words. So mm-hmm. um, for me, that's more how I relate it to the world. Yeah. Um, it's not so specific to one thing or another, but Mm -hmm. I've always felt like that's, that's the, this is one of the things that I can do broadly for the world. And obviously it's not going to reach every child. I wish it would. Mm -hmm. Uh, But if I'm going to try to spread some type of joy and kindness into this world, it's going to be through my books. Yeah. no, And through like seeing kids in libraries and. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Where, you know, like, where is one place that you love to see your book or that you've seen, say, Jack, who's been out longer, where have you seen your book that has surprised you the most or maybe given you that big lift? Um, well, honestly, anytime somebody sends me a picture with the book mm-hmm. in the library, I get so excited. I love libraries. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time at the library. Um, so whenever I see pictures of my book at libraries it just like super jazzes me up (laughs) yeah no i love that and yeah thank you steve for joining us out there in tokyo and we did have a question from henry whether he could come in or not so (laughs) everybody come on in and say hi henry (laughs) (laughs) love it but yeah you know um and i know the event's coming up book is out today Mm -hmm. um just what should people look forward to? I know you've mentioned so much that Wombat brings in, and of course, with your own you know, lens perspective that you're bringing into how, why you've put this book out, what should people look forward to and um, how can people support Wombat as we go out? Hey, Henry. 
Um, yeah, I think just uh, if you want to support the book, ask for it at your local library. That's always the first thing I say. Like, mm. I'm really big in books getting into libraries. Ask mm. for it at your local library. If, you know, um, maybe get a copy for your classroom yeah. or a special teacher or any anywhere that you think it would um, benefit the audience. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get it out there and yeah, let it helps spread some joy and you know, yeah. Oh no, we we feel it. I I definitely feel the joy from this book and the love and really what everything that you've you've, you've just highlighted about you know bringing that joy into the world. It's so important because we do get an opportunity to get lost in these worlds, right? And right. It's just to think about things like right now it's making me think about my own family connections and thinking you know maybe you're oh, reaching out to somebody that i haven't in a while you know mm -hmm. like so i really appreciate that and um and just to close us out just wanted to ask like what any particular message you have out there for you know the little ones or even just other creators that are out there i know if you're joining us this morning um other creators if you're um if you're you know working towards i guess getting your work out there don't stop keep working sometimes we get discouraged but you know just keep working towards it everybody else just i don't know i always tell people to just spread kindness and joy and love and those are like my three big things if you can do one thing today um do something kind for somebody you don't know, for somebody you know who's maybe a little bit down, for yourself, um, just spread kindness today. Yeah, I oh, appreciate that. Well, to everybody that was joining us here today, just a reminder that we've been here with Marietta Afalonia and celebrating her brand new book, Wombat and the Family Tree, and it is out. So you can find it at your, you know, ask for it at your local libraries, maybe pre-order as well. You know, ask for it at your local library if your librarians can can get it. And um, yeah, hopefully give you that reminder when it, it arrives. And so just remember, so much fun to be had in this book, so much to explore. And if you not seen her previous work well do check out jack the library cat this one should be already in your local library so be sure to get it and of course find it where you find books and if you're looking for a gift well there you go from marietta apollonia thank you so much for joining us today marietta thank you yeah. i always love talking to you so <laughs> Okay. No, always good to have you here. <laughs> and Nick, I must say too, it would have been okay if it was you as well coming in to say hi. <laughs> but yeah, this has been story time for today. Absolutely appreciate you, Marietta. And thank you for your wonderful work and congratulations one more time. Bye, Henry. <laughs> thank you one more time, really, for your amazing work. And we I hope that you know it's um great success for Wombat out in the world. And we'll be sure to send pictures when we see Wombat out there. If you see Wombat anywhere, send me a picture. Let me know. I'll be sure to share it with Marietta. Everybody's so peeking much. in now. I've got our dog. Oh, indeed. Everybody's there. <laughs> I'm just missing Nick. <laughs> Come on in, Nick. <laughs> Come say hi. I think this happened last time, too. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. I love it. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Jeff, oh, good to see boy. you here with us as well. I love this. I appreciate you. And um, yeah, this has been story time for today. We're back again um, tomorrow. And if you miss you, you know, you've missed this live here. You can always catch the recordings later at storytimewithmrlimada.com. And remember to to catch this same recording at 11 a.m. Pacific time or um, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Eastern time. I think I'm getting that correct. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Nick, for the appearance. But remember, too, that Marietta can be found at um, mariettaapollonia.com for everything up to date, Marietta, and of course, mm -hmm. books and everything else to explore. So much to learn there. So please go mm -hmm. ahead and um, do check out Marietta at that website. And of yeah. course, you can find, uh, yeah, Marietta at Marietta Apollonia Art on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. also, if you go to the website, there's a free um, activity packet for Wombat that you can download. 
Oh, that is. And it has a copy yeah. of the Bling family tree. I forget what else is in there, but yeah. um, publisher Tommy Nelson put that together, and it's pretty nice. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, no, I love that. I'll definitely be checking that out and hopefully do some activities with the kids this week. <laughs> and also, uh, you can find Marietta at Ma Illustrates on X as well as Instagram. This has been story time for today. Absolutely appreciate everybody taking the time to be here to celebrate Marietta with us today, to celebrate Warm but coming into the world. And I cannot wait to look at those shelves and see where uh, we know the different places <laughs> that we'll be seeing Warm but. But um, thank you for being here for more story time. Please join us again tomorrow when we're back with another episode and we will be looking at forever or a day coming to us from Sarah Jacoby. So yeah, author illustrators. Uh, That's a great to one too. <laughs> Yeah, we have that right. Yeah, no, it's such a great book. It's such a great book. Always uh so so many lessons I feel like mm -hmm. I in there. And um, yeah, but this has been story time for today. Absolutely appreciate everybody joining in and um yeah, wishing you a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> if you're home like Henry, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> And if you're heading out, please just be sure to check those weather conditions, check the road conditions. And um, yeah, I don't know if you heard about the news in Baltimore about the ship that can hit mm -hmm. the Scott Key Bridge. And um, yeah, and um, so there's been things happening there. I'm sure traffic will be also crazy. Having lived in Baltimore, knowing that that was oh, yeah. The, yeah, one one exit that people like to take. So wondering um, what, what uh, conditions would be today. But yeah, thinking of those two as well affected by that but um this has been story time for today welcome and congratulations welcome to wombat and congratulations to you marietta Henry, you, you want to say bye to everybody for us say bye, bye. bye. <laughs> oh i love it <laughs>